Miracle Videos. Beekeeping. Inside the hive. Not all hives are the same, but what goes on inside the hive is. Whether it's a naturally occurring wild hive in a tree, a man-made hive of woven grass, or a Kenyan top bar hive, when you look inside you'll see lots of bees and wax comb. The comb is the structure of the hive in which the bees store their food and raise their young. It takes about 8 kilos of honey to make 1 kilo of wax. Bees build comb downward from a horizontal surface. The size and color of the comb will tell its age. New comb is light and flexible, while older comb is dark and brittle. The comb is filled with honey and sealed from top to bottom. Capped honey is the beekeeper's prize, but uncapped honey should never be harvested. Honey from newer comb is sweet and light, but darker comb will have a more robust flavor. Pollen from flowers is also stored in individual cells on the comb. This is then fed to young and developing bees. Inside every hive you will find honeycomb, but also brood. Brood is the bee in its young, developing stages. Here is a brood comb with female or worker brood. Notice the flat cappings over each cell. The solid patterning of the brood indicates a strong and healthy queen. Drone brood is the male honeybee. The cells of the drone are larger than those of the worker, and the cappings are dome-shaped. Here is a bee being born. Notice the way it chews through the capping unassisted by other bees. Side-by-side -side comparisons highlight the differences between worker and drone. On this comb, the queen has laid both male and female brood. Notice the uniformity and flat appearance of the worker brood. Here's the third type of brood you'll find, the queen cell. It looks like a ground nut. Once the queen hatches and mates, she and several hundred of her sisters will leave the original colony. We call this a swarm. As the swarm looks for a new place to build their hive, the bees are very docile. This is because they are each loaded with honey. Here is a swarm we found near a water pump. We carefully clipped the wing of the queen and later placed her in a hive where the colony could thrive. As soon as the new colony is established and has built some comb, the queen will lay eggs. The eggs hatch into the larval stage and these fledgling bees are fed honey and pollen. Over a few days the larvae grow to fill up their cells. Here you can see larvae, almost completely grown. Worker bees cap the larvae into their cells and they pupate for several days to complete the transformation. Usually you will find brood in the lower section of comb and the honey will be situated above it. The honey protects the brood from temperature extremes. Here you can easily see the difference between honey and brood. While in some tropical environs the brood is a popular snack, we are mostly interested in this dripping golden honey. Pests. The hive is a haven for pests and predators. Whether they go after the wax, the honey, or the hive itself, the prudent beekeeper must be vigilant. Here we see a neglected hive, and the ants that have made it inhospitable to bees. While this is an extreme example, unchecked minor problems can often get out of control. In this next video, we see a larva of the wax moth. These are common pests who tunnel through the wax and spoil the honey. Squash and remove them whenever they are present. And that's inside the hive for you. The views and ideas expressed by Nathaniel Fan's Miracle Videos are not the views and ideas expressed by Peace Corps, the Gambia, or Peace Corps, Washington. Any questions, concerns, or free tickets to closed tapings, please write to P.O. Box 1234567891011 12 America.